Right. Uh, Luke, just um, I know we've um, already a few games in, but what, what are your expectations uh, for the season? Well, our expectations are to win a, a league championship again and uh, have a nice run through the tournament. Okay. Um, first few games, what have you seen from your team that um, you like, maybe that you um, want to see uh, you guys improve on as the season uh, rolls on here? Well, I think we've, uh, we've done a great job pressing. Uh, you know, we haven't done it in a few years, and we've tried to crank it up a little bit more because we feel we have a little bit more depth. Uh, we got a little bit more size this year. Uh, I think sometimes we've rebounded fairly well, but I think we can be a much better rebound. Uh, the returning players come back. Who, who are going to be key for you guys out of those returning players? Well, we had four sophomores up last year, and now they're juniors, so it's like they're seniors for us. So that's that's been a big plus for us. But I'd say Landon Spitzley, a senior, and uh, Dominic Schneider, a senior, have been real good returners. I know last year, um, obviously, a lot of underclassmen. Um, that I know rough last year, but you you feel like that's a benefit then this year? Yeah, that's always a benefit. And, you know, it was a little tough last year, but those kids were still able to eke out 15 wins, which is a pretty good year. Uh, talk about some of the newcomers that are coming in who are uh, who you uh, think will contribute right away this year. Of course, I, I think our sophomores that were up last year, uh, Damon Klein, Justin Thalen, um, Alton Schneider, uh, Gavin Smith, you know, have contributed quite well. And then uh, we've got a freshman, uh, Nick Spisley, that's been running our point, that's been doing a good job. Um, just a couple practices ago, we started talking about what we want to do as a team, and we all started talking we really believe we can be CMAC champs this year if we keep working like we are. I think we have a lot of special talent here. We're hoping district and regionals this year. Be really pleasing for me. Uh, just improve as a team and try to win the league and hopefully make a pretty far class. Uh, what's the difference? Uh, I, know early, I know it's early in the season, but what are the differences between this year's team and last year's team? I'd say this year we have a lot more chemistry as a team. We played a lot a lot better. We're having a lot of fun this year. And we have a lot more to come back. From last year, we had no experience really as much. So we have nine guys back from last year's team. I just said more experience and more depth on the team. Okay. Uh, as seniors this year, what, what, how does that uh, change your roles um, as opposed to last year? This year, I've been trying to lead by example a lot more. Being a senior, I feel like you kind of look up to me. I'm sure it's the same way. Like, you got to lead by example and try to do, work our butts off every practice. Same, basically, just try to lead help the team get better. Uh, I know you talked about chemistry. Um, just talk about how this uh, this group of underclassmen that have come up, how uh, I guess they add to that and add to the team as far as their skill sets. Um, they did a real time last year. We had four sophomores up from the team. They come back this year. And the people that were on JV last year coming up. And we have a freshman this year, Nick Spitz, and he's really helping contribute this year. And they're helping to they're contribute a lot also. Yeah, I'd say the experience from the four sophomores last year helps a lot after this year. After that Landsberg loss, that seemed like a sort of wake-up call for our team. I mean, we all knew we were talented. We all knew we'd be a great team. But stuff wasn't really going our way that night, it seemed like. So we, we just brought practice that next week, and I think it really carried over in our games. So I feel like practicing hard over winter break is really going to help us in the second half of the season. Yeah, I think it was a wake-up call, too. We just want to get it all back together and make a shot for the league. Uh, and I'm talking to Coach, uh, and it's, it seems like every year the CMAC is always tough. I know Fulton's kind of seems like the, uh, the favorite. Um, just uh, uh, what are your guys' uh, uh, just what are your guys' feelings about uh, competing? I guess in the CMAC this year. I feel in the CMAC, I mean, it's a lot of fun. We have a lot of there's four good teams, and it's all good teams. Every competition, but it's you know, there's a lot of good teams this year, and I think this Fulton game is a lot of fun because we've been aiming towards that a lot and working hard for that game. Yeah, I think we work hard. We we can finish popularly somewhere up there. All right. Um, any uh, personal goals for either of you that uh, you'd like to accomplish uh, before your your final year ends this year? I guess maybe make try making some first second team all CMC maybe. I guess just making yeah, try to make all every team first CMC and get deep into the playoffs.